In this video, we will show you how to fix the game Call of Duty Warzone that keeps stuttering or lagging while in a match in Windows 11. Lags and stuttering in games are common in PCs that have lower hardware specifications. However, if your computer is good enough but the game continues to stutter, then here are the things you can do to fix it. The first thing you have to do is to force stop the game and close apps that take too much memory. It's possible that you already have a bunch of heavy apps that are running in the background. To do that, press the control, shift and escape keys to pull up the task manager. Look for Call of Duty Modern Warfare and click on it. Once it's selected, click the end task button at the bottom right corner of the window. Now close all other applications that use too much memory. After that, launch Warzone again and try gaming with it to know if the stutter or lags have disappeared. If the game continues to lag, then it's time to refresh the memory of your computer. A simple reboot will be enough to do the job. So click the start button and click on the power icon. Select restart and wait until your computer boots up successfully. After the reboot, launch the game again and try to see if the problem is fixed because it's still not. Then what you have to do next is to do a speed test. It's possible that you're just suffering from high latency or even slow connection. Just log on to speedtest.net and test your connection. If your latency is more than 50 ms and your download speed is below 30 mbps, then it's a connection problem and you might have to call your internet service provider to fix your connection. However, if everything looks normal and yet the game continues to stutter, then you need to scan the installation files and repair them if possible. Don't worry, the battle.net client will do that for you. Here's how. Launch the battle.net client. Make sure that Warzone is selected. Click the gear icon beside the play button. Select scan and repair, and then click begin scan. Now wait for the client to finish the scan. After that, launch the game and it should work properly now. We hope this troubleshooting guide can help. Thanks for watching.